Hello, fellow Kick.com comrades. Two times are changing and two tides are moving. Every stone turns to dust. But let's hope Kick.com will not be a mere stone in the sea of dust. Let's hope that Kick.com will provide us with a future that will last. That was a quick freestyle poem. Thank you for the applause. And now let me show you the second way how you can add chat to your live stream on Kick.com, like this one, to your own Kick.com live stream channel. Some of you may have seen my old video on how to do this and make it look like this by adding the chat room browser source and removing the background, but it has been broken for a little bit of time because as Kick is improving, they keep changing the code and my CSS no longer worked. And everyone was like, oh my God, Vortexiel, there is background there and your code doesn't remove the CSS background. Well, the reason that this is better is because there is never any background and it doesn't respond to the changes of the code on Kik. So the main downside to having it this way compared to this way is that the icons will never be up to date. You can see Kik has updated their uh, badges for the creator, moderator, VIP recently. Here it still shows the old badges. So first thing you do, go to www.livebot.app. This to my understanding is Kik.com's official bot that they are either developing or helping to develop. So it's always most up to date compared to all of the other bots I have tried. I highly recommend using this one. On this website, click on login or sign up if you don't have an account yet. Click on login again on this website, go to left side, click on overlay and click on chat. As you can see, they also have follow, sub and sub gift alerts. And I'll be making a video on how to add this right after this is done. So once you are on the chat overlay page, start by clicking the plus symbol right here, create a new overlay. You can name it whatever you would like. And the second thing I always recommend you to click on the fake chat option. This is post randomly generated messages just so you have a better idea of how it will look like. On the general tab, you can change the alignment. You can change the direction. I prefer to have the username on the left, you know, Twitch nostalgia. On the user tab, you can change the color of the username. I personally don't like to have the background, so I turned that down to zero transparency. And one tip I will give you, I like to check mark the random color because that makes every message different color and that way you can differentiate between different users. And the message tab, it speaks for itself. You can change the settings of the message. You can make it transparent, bold, you can add space. It's completely up to you. So once you have played around and you had made your dream overlay, make sure to click on the save button right here. My mistake and why it didn't work for me is because I kept clicking on this export overlay button before, but this is not what you're supposed to do. This is something that you click on when you want to share your chat options with um, other streamers and then they can copy the code that it generates into their own settings by importing it like this. What you are actually supposed to do, my friends, you click on the stream element URL and that copies it into your OBS. Now that you are back in OBS, my friends, you can simply click the plus symbol in sources, add a browser source, name it Kik Shed, or anything that is not very important, and then paste into link that you have gotten from the website. Hit OK, and there you have it. You don't have to change any CSS, it just works. Lorem ipsum, lorem ipsum, lorem ipsum. To be honest, I have never understood what lorem ipsum means, but I keep using it anyway. Let me know in the comments if anyone actually knows what it means. I don't speak Latin. And yeah, there you go, it works with emotes, just like the chat we have done before. To be honest, my friends, I will keep using the chat that I have had before, this one. 
even though it's not that as reliable, I think it looks nicer, you know, it's more up to date with all of the new badges and shit. Uh, this one is a good backup, just in case the second one doesn't work. But anyway, I hope that this works for you. Any questions, post in the comments, I try my best to answer. You can also find me on Discord uh, in case that you need fast response. Goodbye. Mwah.